Uh, we're now going to go to John in Edinburgh. Uh, John, if you were voting for who's to be the next Prime Minister, uh, how would you vote? Um, I'd probably vote for, for Rishi Sunak because of the experience that he's had mm -hmm. um, within. And, and I think he'd probably be able to correct some of the mistakes that you've made in the past. Right. Um, for example, when I wrote to you about rare disease people being pulled out of the European reference networks, three and a half thousand people in the UK, and you wrote back with, with, with something that made no sense at all. Right. And now that we're out of the, you wrote back to me, and it was a waste of time, and you know it was a waste of time. You got some civil servant to do that. You were totally useless as a health secretary. There's three and a half million people suffering from the effects of rare disease in this country that are in hell at the moment. They can't, ask, they can't get into any of the, the European reference networks, which is the only place that does research for rare disease. All of the... the well, hold, the, well, hold on, John. The, hold, hold, hold on. Just, uh, just, just, you, 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 uh, just hold on, John. The... the the, uh, it, I wrote you the letter and I gave you all the figures, all of the hospitals in the UK that were involved in them that were going to be thrown out, all of the scientists in the UK that were going to be involved in them and were thrown out, and all of the software and all of the, the structures to, to, ex to exchange all of this information throughout the EU, which you have totally pulled us out of, and we have not, we won't, it'll cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Of, pounds to, to redo that software. So now you tell me what, what, why you've done that to us. Yes, yeah, so thank you, John. So um, thank you for your uh, views on that. Uh, obviously, um, finding solutions for people who have rare diseases is incredibly important and uh, completely the opposite of what you've said. When I was uh, health secretary, we put huge resources into developing the work, especially the genomics and the UK Biobank, which is the best research capacity in the world, half a million people uh, who we can make sure that we have the, the research to find out uh, what, uh, what solutions you can get for people with rare diseases. And in fact, the UK is one of the leaders on this. Now, of course, when we left the EU, it, the, I, it would have been far better if the EU side had not put a blocker on that, which I'm sure is what I wrote in the, in the letter. But we, you know, I, hope you we can the I hope we can negotiate our way uh, back into it, that. It, but actually, John, excuse me. Um, it, it's not the fact you know. It, excuse me, John. The, um, the, the truth is uh, that we need a global approach to tackling uh, rare diseases. It's not just a European issue. It is a global issue. And as the UK is one of the leaders... Uh, in, in, you know, thanks to the work that we've done over the last few years, making sure that we have the biggest genomic capacity in the world here in the UK, uh, right across the UK in Edinburgh and uh, uh, across all of the other uh, universities, um, we are in a good place to lead on this front. So thank you, John.